In this video, we'll learn about the dashboards. Dashboards are basically collection of all the different views, all the different worksheets at one place. It is used for better analysis purpose. Let us see what exactly is a dashboard here. So right now I'm working in the sheet that is the workbook named as dashboard introduction. The file named or the database I have global superstore 2017 and I have created three sheets. One is the running total sales by the segment that is a sales by segment. Second, I have sales by category that's a bar graph. And third, I have the map graph. You can see these are the map graph which I have. So what I want, I want to combine all three of them at one place using this dashboard. So how do I create a dashboard? First of all, this is an empty dashboard. If you want to create a dashboard, you have to click on the second plus sign like this and a new dashboard would be created. This is one method. The other method to create a dashboard is you go to this dashboard menu bar and click on this new dashboard option here. So if I click on this new dashboard, uh, another dashboard would be created. What exactly dashboard consists of? Here on the left hand side, if you see the data pane has been replaced by some other thing. What is that? It says the dashboard where you can see the device preview, the size. These are the names of the sheet. If you see, these are the three names of the sheet which I have. And here are the different objects you can use. So let us see what can be done with this dashboards. So whatever sheets or whatever uh, the graphs which I have created, if I want to bring it here, it's very simple. I have to select it and drop it into this place and the graph would be created. The same graph which was created on the earlier place. Another thing is if you want to drag it the another chart, you can just bring it down like this, select it and you can just drag it down. So it, whatever is the suitable space it will take and it will be dropped here. Okay. If you see there are two graphs. Now if I want one more, let's say the map graph, I'll select this state sales. So I'll just pick up this state sales and I can drop it in this area itself. So you see now I have all the three maps which are placed in this in the dashboard itself. So what is the benefit of using this A analysis using this dashboard is very simple and very easy. If you want, you can represent all these charts into one place by using this uh, presentation mode. If you see that's a presentation mode. So if I click on this button, if you see that's a shortcut keys F7 from a keyboard, I'll click on this place and you can represent this in the form of this presentation slide. If you want, you can export. If you want, you can export the image snapshot and use in the PowerPoint uh, for the presentation part. I'll press escape from my keyboard and it will come in a normal place. When you created this kind of dashboard on the left hand, right hand side, if you see, there was a legend which was created. Benefit of using this legend is suppose if you want to see only the office sales, you can just click on this office sales and the entire graph, only the office sales will be visible. If you see here, the office sales, here, the office sales are visible. Same way, if you select the technology part, only the technology would be highlighted in this area. So it is nothing but the interactive dashboard where you have created. So you can interact with the dashboard using the legends. If you want, you can also insert the filters at this place. How do you insert a filter is you can simply select any of the, uh, you know, the view or the worksheet here. So suppose if I select this one or if I select this option here to create a filter here, you have to just click on this drop down. And here, if you see, there are various options. You can see there's an option given as filters. So I'll just click on this filters. Based on what do you want the filters? Do you want the filters on category, segment, sales, or the order date? So I'll say I want the filters based on the category part, and these are the filters which are applied. These are the interactive filters. Anything if you select from here, let's say if I select here as furniture, only furniture related information would be displayed here. If you see here, if I select office supplies, office supply related for information will be given. But right now, this filter is only working with this area. If you see that is running total by segment. What if I want, if I change anything here, the other option should also be changed. So for that, what I have to do is I have to select this drop down like this one. And then I have to select as apply to worksheets and I have to say as apply all using this data source. Whenever I select some filter, that filter should be applied to all using this data source. Selected that and what I can do is I can just select all right now. And if I select here as furniture, if you see the graph is changing here. If I select only for technology, the only technology will be visible. So whatever you see will be nothing but an interactive graph, interactive filters with the dashboard itself. So I'll select here all right now and everything will be visible here. So this is how you can work on this adding filters and making your dashboard much more interactive to see more details about this dashboards related to actions and related to layout and uh, you know formatting. You can see the other videos in our tutorial. That's all for this video.